First up, a very provocative piece on the changing face of those who use medical marijuana. You're about to meet a group of women who are not afraid to publicly admit that cannabis helps them medically, and they claim makes them better parents. They've taken their story mainstream and have ignited a media blitz. The women of the Beverly Hills Cannabis Club all use medical marijuana for chronic pain control. And they are no longer afraid of what people might think or worse, of being sent to prison for breaking federal law. California is one of the states where cannabis can be legally prescribed. They say their lives are now so much better and that it's time to bring medical marijuana out of the shadows. They meet often to discuss their advocacy for legalizing cannabis nationwide. Cheryl Schumann is the club's founder and a cancer survivor. Why go public now? So public. I think by speaking out as a mainstream woman, people start to listen. The problem in the past is the only people that were willing to come forward were the stereotypical hippies and tie-dyes. But when they see someone like me, first of all, I'm a mom. I could be your sister, your mom, your aunt, your teacher, your doctor. And when people hear it's pot, they're curious, so they tune in. Club member Dana Dwight, the mother of three boys, has no qualms about discussing her cannabis use. I have severe inflammatory disorders and cannabis gives me a, a better quality of life. It took the edge off my pain. I was able to be present for my children. I wasn't in bed on the pharmaceuticals. It gave me a lot of relief and it gave me a better tolerance to deal with my children. Dr. David Bressler, one of the country's top pain specialists, agrees that cannabis can have a positive impact on parenting. What a lot of people don't realize is having chronic pain is exhausting. It's tremendously disabling. So when people are able to find something that raises their pain tolerance and allows them to, know, to have a life and do all kinds of things, sure, they're going to be better at just about everything they do, including parenting. For Cheryl and these moms, the risk of federal prosecution is worth the hundreds of thousands of emails, tweets, and Facebook friends who've come out in support of their advocacy. I don't care who you are all across this country. All of us have had people in our lives who we've lost from cancer, from AIDS, who have had uh, terrible illnesses such as multiple sclerosis. And if I can change and save just one life, then all of this is worth it. And I decided when I was diagnosed as being terminal, I wanted to leave a legacy behind. And that's what I'm doing. I'm Asha Blake, America Now.